exchange. How was your experience? I learned a lot in this trip, you know. I learned about, a lot about nature, you know. I, I just want to say Erasmus for life, you know what I mean? Uh, we're all about nature here, you know what I mean? Uh, so, yeah. This was a very good um, end. Uh, Erasmus is a very good project. <laughs> Hello. Uh, that was a nice day. This was a nice day. Uh, Erasmus uh, gives us opportunity to meet each other, uh, make some activities which are uh, fruitful and suitable for us. And we also meet uh, some of our, uh, we meet uh, you. Okay. And you know, that was really nice. And that was what is main funny. Yes. Um, I really enjoyed my experience um, traveling to Georgia because I made loads of friends and I also visited places I would have never um, seen before. And I also tried new um, food and I enjoyed the culture that they have here. Okay. Uh, it was a lovely experience. You know, Erasmus for life. Uh, I just want to say, Madaloba for Erasmus for bringing me out to Georgia, you know. Got to meet uh, lovely people, very beautiful people as well. Bye-bye. Uh, uh, the adventure was uh, so nice and the guys uh, were so friendly. <laughs> First of all, it was so uh, productive and interesting. I learned and explored new things, and I actually learned so much, so much things about Ireland. And thanks to Erasmus for that really great experience. It was really fun, and I learned more stuff from a lot of people, and it was just really encouraging. And like, I kind of did more with other people, especially like, like no more languages and more like stuff, how to play and say stuff like hello or thank you, it was like really exciting and fun. My experience, I want to say that it was, we had so much fun here and I'm so thankful for Erasmus because it was good for my English uh, and it was really fun. Pirman Rick Shivitro di Rom, Twitonis project Erasmus project Aris Alian Saint Ereso. The question I said to a chance to go to Leva, Rom Martivat Shelflot, Fantan, as a good dark loeba. Chemtus, Talian Saint Ereso, you of serious Zula, Talian Momezona, Asetiram, Jer, Naklebat Konia, Chowlebri, Squaker and Squaker and Saubari. As it is, Tanat Horeva Magram, Amperio Disatis, Zalian Martiva Mokta, Tan Chamo Sulevit, Vincipne, Huela, Zalian Martiva Damego did, Taravici, and Moglet Huela Vincipo, Zalian Martiva Sahelevit Davimar Sore, Tan Perad Gilasuare, Amad Gilepsia Rulit, Pro Tavaklo Dita, Ide Rache Hevam Projectes, Rasatuaketev did Sirvili. Hatwa Sate Vis Hatwada as a shem deck, uh Soda Dam Leli Romagra, Mines Casartobi Rodami Tawa Lotitu. Big surprise because I discovered one new country and I learned a lot of things about uh, Georgia. It was very uh, good experience for me, full of uh, all good emotions and news. I also made a lot of friends here, which is I'm thinking about it. And thank you very much for all this because it was really amazing. Um, my experience was great because I had a lot of fun and made lots of new friends from a different country. This was a good day, a lovely experience, and thank you, Erasmus, for everything. My uh, was Erasmus, my experience was great. Um, there was we did a lot of activities, and all of them were, you know, divine in their own way. I loved meeting everyone, and I loved the activities. I loved the food, and meeting the town was excellent. I thought that it was a fabulous experience in one word. Thank you.
Um, just some general information about Ireland. It is the third largest island in Europe. The capital is Dublin. We have a population of 4.9 million people. Um, we have 32 counties like Cork and Dublin and four provinces like Munster and Leinster. Um, our president is Michael D. Higgins and our currency is Euro. Thank you. Oh, wait, actually. So um, most, what Ireland is most known for, we're known for three things. Conor Berger, Cliffs of Moher, and St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day is on the 17th of March, so we just had it, actually. Um, it's a day where everyone wears green and they dress up really silly and they drink a lot of alcohol. Conor McGregor is a famous boxer, you know him for punching people. And the Cliffs of Moher is popular because it was a scene, it was in a scene in Star Wars. So people like to go visit, and Harry Potter, I'm pretty sure. So people like to visit, take photos, and then go home. Yeah. <laughs> To be talking about Guinness. Guinness is a dry alcohol um, that, that was made and brewed in Dublin in 1959. It's one of the most successful alcohols worldwide. It's available in 120 countries and at every event you'll find at least one person drinking it in Ireland and the Irish get drunk really fast. Thank you. <laughs> Hello everyone. So I'm guessing that some of us like to dance. Am I right in saying that? A few of us like to dance? Come on guys, oh, I know you like to dance. to dance. I know you like, you may be shy to say, I'm not going to make you dance or anything like that. But today I'm going to be talking about Irish dancing. So in Ireland, there are there is the traditional dance, the dance that we practice, it's Irish dancing. And it can be broken down into two sets. So there's Irish dancing and set dancing. So when you're Irish dancing, you wear these shoes and they are flat sole shoes. They are flat sole because the difference between Irish dancing and set dancing is that set dancing you use a heel to make more of a noise. That's really the only difference. So mostly, you know, you practice this when you're younger and usually as people grow up they get, you know, they get tired of it, they want to do athletics, they want to move on to sports. But um, really and truly it is a lovely, lovely dance to practice and a lot of people practice it when they're younger and when they're older. Maybe you guys can take it along to some tunes later on, but we'll get to that later anyway. Thank you so much for the <laughs> For Irish dances, um, normally traditional Irish dancers, they will perform to traditional music, which is either called a reel or a jig. And also for our, in, for our traditional music, um, music in, instruments, um, we have things like banjos and the harp and also a yuli pipe. Which is like so I'll start talking about um, Irish food, bacon and cabbage. This dish consists of bacon, cabbage and potatoes boiled and it can also be eaten with smoked bacon. Um, however, the option to put gravy is also there. Thank you. I'm talking about Irish stew. Um, Irish stew is traditional and native to Ireland. Basic ingredients include lamb, mutton, it may also include potatoes, onions, and parsley. You can also have it with carrots. And I'm talking about barn brek. Barn brek is also known as barn brek in Irish. It is a quick bread with raisins added. Um, the bread is associated with Halloween in Ireland, where an item like a ring or something else is placed, it, is placed inside the bread, and the person who receives it is received as lucky. Guinness chocolate pudding. Pudding is simply milk, cream, and sugar mixture that is cooking for a short time. Guinness, a popular Irish alcohol, is then added. Warning, you might not want to eat so many rounds of dessert. The warning can be dangerous. Today, I'm going to be talking about sports. In Ireland, we play many different sports like basketball, soccer, and tennis. But the two main traditional sports would be Gaelic football. And hurting. So I'm going to be talking about Gaelic football. Gaelic football for it was first started in 1670 and it was played in County Mead and the equipment used to play are a soccer ball about twice as heavy and a gum shield. So I will be talking about our other Irish sport, hurling. Hurling dates back to the 13th century. It's a traditional, it's a traditional Irish sport. The main equipment used is a helmet, a hurley which is basically a stick and a slitter which is basically this ball. 
Today I'll be talking about history. Ireland is a, it's a very peaceful country, although uh, although uh, it uh, hasn't always been this way. Uh, here we'll talk about the most uh, impactful events of Irish history. Uh, the Great Famine from 1845 to 1852. The potato blight spread it to uh, Irish crops. The country was uh, affected se severely because potato used to be like a main source for Irish people. So once uh, potatoes are like, out of the way, like, the people starved and they fled. About one million of them fled to different countries. And in Dublin, you can find uh, statues to honor the people that died during the famine. So I have some more general information slash fun facts for you. Hall you all know Halloween. Oh, yeah. yeah, Halloween yeah, yeah. was originated in Ireland, so you're welcome. Um, for one day, on the 10th of March, they accidentally legalized all drugs. So you could do cocaine, crystal meth, weed, you could do it all because it was legal. And then the day after that, so the 11th of March, they banned straight marriage by mistake. And then one of our natural like celebrities of Ireland, Michael Collins, was known as one of the world's most wanted terrorists for what he did in Ireland in the 1916 Rising. So, that is all. I hope you're paying attention, because there is a quiz. <laughs> so, question number one. Who is the president of Ireland? If you like, do it fast. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> What currency? What currency do we use in Ireland? Euro. Which is the popular bread that you find a ring inside of? Brown bread? No, it's very brown close bread. to brown bread. Fire yeah. <laughs> bread. Can someone name one popular sport in Ireland? Football. Rugby. No. It's a traditional Irish sport. Okay. No, you say first.
Erasmus, a co-warrior in adventure. He was actually see, We enjoyed it. It was fantastic. We love Georgia. The young people learn about the forest, the cook in the world. We had fantastic uh, volunteer who experienced the whole thing. We are very happy that we came in peace and we are going back in peace. They made new friends. We try new food. We learn about how to recycle things here. We also see the beautiful waterfall and the beautiful city we met with the locals. We met with um, some organiz uh, the organization here, Youth in Focus, with Iraqi. At the end of the day, what is, was important, the young people connected. And for me, uh, on behalf of Love and Care for People, we're just proud that we were able to bring 16 young people here. And we meet other 16 young people and we look forward for a long-lasting partnership. Uh, Erasmus, thank you. Largas, thank you. And European Union, thank you. Again, thank you for all the team at Love and Care for People. Above all, Thank you to all the parents for the trust they gave us to help their wonderful loved one and their children. Thank you. We'll see you next time.
I apologize sincerely. <laughs> I was like, why are you missing a few things? I wasn't even prepared for it. One, two. Jafari smiling for the camera. Bang! He's picking his nose, babe. Like, let's be real. Where's your acne going? Just 